Hey everyone, it's Darren here in the Bravo headquarters for Ask Andy, where Andy Cohen sits down, gets candid, and gives us the answers we all want to know. How are you doing, Andy? Good. Is it the Bravo headquarters or Bravo headquarters? The Bravo headquarters. Right. Would you prefer Bravo headquarters? We're here in Bravo We're here at Bravo headquarters. We're here at Bra okay. okay. So we're here at Bravo headquarters for everyone out there. Brittany Fleming from Facebook asks, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? I don't know. I think I might be nothing. I'm 45. Maybe <laughs> I should be a 45-year-old. Although, you did dress up two years ago as Jiggy. I did. I mean, you know, to mix results. I, yeah, I mean, I dressed up on the show. Right. Um, I'm not going to dress up on the show this year. I'm going to let others do it. I think at some point... you got to let it go. Yeah, I'm old. Well, you know how much I love games, as do you. So in the spirit of Halloween, I wanted to play a little game called Trick or Teat. I'm going to show you a series of teats, and you're gonna it's your job to guess who or what that teat belongs to. Okay. You ready to play? Yep. Is this a dog, cat, or monkey? Ew. Dog. Oh, good job. He got that right. Is this a gorilla, a cow, or a goat? A goat. No, it's a gorilla. Ooh, it's actually a cow, but ooh, gross either way. Is this one Zach Efron, Madison Hildebrand, or Jax Taylor? Madison. Got it right. Uh -huh. That's so good. This one, Kurt Cobain, Dave Navarro, or Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers? Flea. Dave Navarro. Britney Spears, Madonna, Janet Jackson. Oh, that's, that's Janet. From, from the Super Bowl. From, yeah. the, from the nip slip. We've officially grossed out Andy Cohen for trick or teat. Jeremy Tabor on Facebook asks, in interviews when you call a guest out on a possible lie and they give you sort of a non-answer, why do you almost always say, uh, okay and move on? Does this, uh, okay and smile mean you don't really believe them? Um, because it's up to them to say what they, you know, it's, I'm asking them the question. They can say, <clears throat> you know, what they believe or not. And, you know, I try to call them out on it. And if they if they just want to stick to their story, I let them stick to their story. It's up to them. Well, our next question also has to do with this subject, and it comes from the one and only Rachel Ray. Hey! So I want to know, what was the last fib you told? Gosh, I mean, I'm just thinking in the last 24 hours. Um, oh, because we all fib all the time. The last fib that I told is I committed to a plan that I knew that I was going to cancel. That's so flaky, but it's true. Why did you do it? Because I was being put on the spot, and I just thought, you know what? It's easier to say yes and then cancel. Usually I will say no, but in this particular case, I just said Kalap asked on BravoTV.com, Andy, in how much of the housewife selection process are you actually involved in? Um, I am involved in all of us. We have a team of the exec in charge of the show, me and Sherry Levine, uh, work with the production company to go over submissions for housewives. Usually the production company will send us their top kind of seven picks or something like that. In terms of bringing former housewives back, typically I'm at the forefront of, of um, trying to woo formers back to the show. So if you want to bring a cast member back, and let's say you're, you're staunch on it, you really want to bring it back, yeah. how many people does it have to go through in order for them to be like, okay, we'll bring this person back? Is it um, just your say or? No, I mean, it's, you know, we, we like, I, you know, I mean, if it's a terrible idea, then People will say to me, it's a terrible idea. Has there ever been an idea that they've all thought no and you've been like, yes, 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 yes? Um, no, I mean, I think I always, I, for Orange County, I always wanted to bring Lori back. And Lori didn't want to come back. But I think everyone was like, okay, you know, if she, if she, but then she came back last year. as um, She kind of came back part-time, which was really fun. Lisa Bettini on Facebook asked, what's it like to be so awesome? 